Hi everyone, this is Sean's Mando Chinese. This brief video is about the word 一个, 一个, which means a or one of something. So here's a brief explanation. E by itself means one. If you've ever learned to count in Chinese, you'll know counting starts by e r san, which means one, two, three, right? So e means one. G is the most generic quantifier. Without going into too much detail, in case you're not aware of quantifiers, they're used before nouns in Chinese, and they're a very common element of Chinese grammar. So e and g together, the e is actually adaptable in terms of the tone. So this character can change based on the tone of the next word. So g is the fourth tone, e is the first tone, but when you put them together, e changes to a second tone. 一个, because that uh, flows more smoothly. 一个, 一个, like that. So together, 一个 means a or one of something, like a dog, a bear, a flirt, a person, etc. Here are some cool examples that I've put together for you. So firstly, pretend there's someone up on the stage and they need to call one of the audience members to come forward. That they can say this sentence, 我需要一个人 我需要一个人, I need a person. And then, 他是一个认识我的人, 他是一个认识我的人, He is a person who knows me. Uh, 认识我的人 means person who knows me. And finally, for my American friends, uh, this Martin Luther King, uh, there's actually a movie in China where they ha have the scene where he says, I have a dream, which is obviously a very, very famous saying. And this scene is translated in this movie to the following sentence, 我有一个梦想. 我有一个梦想. Now, 梦想 is a bit more of a, an advanced word if you're learning 一个, which is just a. But 我有一个梦想, the a is the same. A dream. I have a dream. Thanks for watching.